All right, you guys, day 16 on the 30 Day Sober Challenge. So yesterday on day 15, we talked about self-esteem, this belief that we have about ourselves, okay? So today, we're talking about our self-care. So if we believe that we are someone that deserves love, that we are kind, that we have these qualities, that also means that we deserve self-care. That means we also deserve things that we love to do. Um, this one, I'll be 100% honest with you guys. So when I talk about this idea of trying to change versus training to change, right? Um, so training means that I'm constantly working towards something. For example, like when I did the Ironman years ago, I was not a good swimmer, biker, or runner. I couldn't do any of them well. But what I did have was I had a really good training plan and six months of time to put into training so I could get good at these things. And throughout the time, little training over time, I got better and better and better. I look at life in the same way, that we're training for change, right? We're training our minds, we're training our bodies, we're training spiritually, physically, emotionally to see change in our life that's lasting. Not this temporary, not this false change, but real change, okay? So self-care, when I say that this is something that I struggle with, um, I'm not really good at creating space and time for me to go do the things I love to do because what I find I do often is uh, I get really busy. I get busy with family. I get busy with kids. I get busy with house projects. I get busy with work. I get busy. Um, and they're all good things. They really are. And, but what I find myself doing is going, oh, I'll put it on the calendar, you know, on day 14, we just talked about when you map out your calendar, I put on my calendar my self-care things, like things I'm going to do for myself. Um, but I, I have a tendency to skip them. And a reason why I'm being honest with you about this is, um, first off, I don't want you guys to think that just because I'm putting this content together and I understand it means I do it perfect. None of us will ever do any of this stuff perfect. Um, these are things that we have begin to apply to our lives and we're going to have weeks that are better and days that are better and moments that are better and others that aren't so much. But I don't look at this situation of this, my self care plan. I don't look at it and go, I'm a failure at it. I'm always going to fail. Throw my hands up in the air and say, I'm done. No, what I do is I go, man, this is an area of my training that I'm not really, I, I, I need to put more attention on. I need to work at a little bit harder. I need to find others that I can ask to hold me accountable to this because I, I'm not really good at it myself. Someone once told me that the idea that when we set something on our calendar as an appointment for ourselves, it's just as important to, as any appointment you would ever have with maybe the most important person you could think of or your boss or somebody, right? You have to see it and view it that way. And that's something I'm working on. That when I put on the calendar, Zach's going to go down to the beach and just have 10 minutes at the beach by himself and it's on the calendar. That I don't skip that appointment because that appointment's just as important as any other appointment on my calendar. And I'm telling you this as I'm telling it to myself. Because the truth is, this is something I'm working on. So here's what I want you guys to do. When it comes to your self-care plan, I want you today to make a list. Write out a list. Everything that you can think of that is healthy, that's not destructive, that brings self-care and joy to you. I'll share some, like some of mine that I have on my list are, I love to go surfing. I love to go get in the ocean. I love to get in my ice bath. I love to enjoy a good cup of coffee, sometimes by myself and sometimes with a friend. Um, I love to get to have sex with my wife. These are all things that I see as self-care. I love to spend time journaling. I love to spend time reading. I love to spend time learning, whether it's, addiction and recovery reading or business reading. I, I, I love to learn. Um, I, I love to get up in the mountains. I love to be out in nature. I love to climb up on my roof at night and sit and look at the stars. See, I can make this list of all these different things I love, okay? And that's what I want you to do today. All these different components that you love. And then, if you didn't do this already, back up two days ago, look at your calendar and go, did I add any self-care in here? If you didn't add it this week, if you already have it in there, great. Next week we'll keep adding. But what I want you guys to do is we're looking at it physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, 
Are you adding something in self-care that takes care of you? Do you love yourself like we talked about yesterday? Do you love yourself enough to take time for yourself? It is so critical that we love ourselves enough that we take time for self-care. But you may be like me. That self-care doesn't come naturally. It's kind of a thing that I have to work at constantly. So if that's the case, that's where the self-care plan comes in. And I want you guys to really be careful um, because sometimes we can slip into um, believing something is actually good for our souls and self-care and it's not. Um, You could say on your self-care plan, binging 24 hours of a Netflix show is self-care. I would question it. Now, going to see a good going to see a movie, um, yeah, that's probably self care. But you have to evaluate because sometimes we'll add things on there that are easy, comfortable, and allow us to check out from the world. That self care shouldn't do that. What self care should do is when when you are done doing that self care thing, you feel more alive, you feel more energized, you feel more yourself and who you are made and designed to be. Then you know it's working. And here's my challenge also, is as you make this big list, don't be afraid to put stuff on there. And then as you begin to try the different things on the list, don't be afraid to go, man, I I thought going to the gym was going to be really self-care. I hate the gym. I need to find something else for the physical. Um, Maybe it's going for a walk. Maybe it's um, going for a swim, swim. It may be something different for all of us. But put it down, try it. If you don't like it, try something else. If you don't like it, try something else. Begin to find the things that you go, man, that brought life to my soul. One of my top number ones is going surfing. Early in the morning, I wake up, whether it's myself or a friend or my son and I, we get up, we get out. I don't care if the waves are good or bad. It's me in the water and I love it. The sun comes up and honestly, it brings so much life that it's the best way to start my day. So I have to add that in my calendar. I had it in my calendar for yesterday, and I did it. And I'm proud of myself because the waves weren't great, but man, the morning was amazing. So that is my challenge today, you guys. Day 16, um, I will say it over and over again. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you for sticking in here. I'm proud of you for doing the work. I'm proud of you. Be sure, Facebook group, Zoom group, don't miss out on them. All right.